Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chris or Lunar Man, and right now I am recording my first Photoshop tutorial. Um, how to make a YouTube banner. Um, and I will be making one for Pontiac Boy, uh, just as like a demo. Um, you guys can totally use this idea, it's a cool idea. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have. Um, I'm going to have like four pictures in a line, one for each kind of game he likes to play. So, so far, I have cut out a picture for Civ 5, um, Fliff, and League of Legends. So, right now, I wanted to demonstrate how I did that. Um, so, what I want to do is I want to cut out this guy right here. Um, probably first thing I want to do is crop it down so it's not so big. Um, do a little more on this side, maybe a little bit on the top. Because all I want is just him. And yeah, there we go. Um, so you can do this multiple ways. First, I would recommend that you unlock it by double clicking the lock over there. So now it's different, you know. Um, so now if you wanted to, you could erase the background. Um, I'm not going to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, in this video, I probably will be using a lot of short shortcuts. So sorry about that. If that, um, you know confuses you or anything. You can use the magic wand, you can try to select everything in the background and do it like that. Actually it looks like that worked pretty well. So as you can see the magic wand worked pretty amazing except for little bits that you know like hung out afterwards. But you can just take the eraser and delete that afterwards. Another thing you could have done is you could have used the magnetic lasso tool which is pretty good also. But right now I'm gonna zoom in and get rid of all these things. I'll deselect that. Uh, use the eraser to erase all this excess. And we will go from there. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Um, get rid of this without getting rid of his shirt too much. Alright, there's some up here. Because whatever is not erased will show up on the background and since we're creating a PNG we want him to be completely isolated so we gotta make sure we get everything or it's gonna look weird um, that looks like everything uh, zoom back out um, and if you're if you're not really sure you can always like blow the eraser up super huge oh oops cut off part of his hair you can always blow up the eraser super huge and just go back over it a little bit Make sure you got everything. All right, but now that this is done. This part is done. I will go to File, Save as, save it to my desktop. Ah, uh, don't worry about the name. Name whatever you want. I'll save it as a PNG. Save yes, and then we can close out of this and do no. And as you can see, this one also doesn't have a background layer. Well, you, it does in there, but like whenever you look at these four, there's no backgrounds. It's just clear. Um. <coughs> so now I, uh, I'm choosing to do this in Illustrator because Photoshop is um, funky sometimes and it's annoying to use sometimes. Um, so I would be using this in Illustrator. You could do this in Photoshop. Uh, it's up to you. Personal preference. I like Illustrator better. Um, but yeah, it's up to you. As you can see though, I did edit these four in Photoshop because I tried to... Wrong thing. I tried to do it in Illustrator. There is a magic wand tool, but it's not as good. There's a lasso tool, but it's not the same thing. All right, so this right here, I've tested out. This is approximately where YouTube cuts off the image. So these are my guidelines. Um, I have the I'll have those locked over here in the layers. Um, the YouTube size that it says to upload for a banner is 2,560 pixels by 1,440 pixels. Let me double check that real quick. Yeah, 2560 by 1440. So this this image, um, this image is 20 2560 by 1440, and the guidelines are where YouTube cuts off the little thing. I don't know why there's a pencil. Oh, because it's locked. Let me unlock it. Okay, so this one is at a x-axis of 1295. And this one is 1277, so you can use that to get them in about the same spot. 
Uh, well, I don't know which one's which, but here's the numbers up here. You can just pause the video and like write it down, or you can look for yourself. Okay, so first things first. Um, we'll probably want some kind of background. I'm not really sure, you know, like what kind. So I have this green right now, but I'm gonna change the color to something a little bit more muted. So maybe we can do like a light gray or maybe like a light brown. Um, it's kind of ugly, so I'll just I'll just leave it to gray right now. And what we want to do is we want to create layers for the photos, and you can name the layers whatever you want. But select the layer, go up here to place, um, find the photo on your desktop. Make sure it's the PNG one. See, so like here's PNG, um, PNG. I'll start with this guy. All right, so he's kind of big, so of course you want to shrink him, and you don't want to do it like that. That's you know it's bad. So what you want to do is you want to do grab the anchor and then hold shift and it keeps it in scale. And if you're really picky, I think you can hold control shift. Wait, let me start grabbing it. You can hold, no, maybe it's alt shift. Yeah, alt shift holds it in scale like this way. So you can do that. I'll just do shift though. Um, and what you're going to want to do is you want to get him in the guidelines like uh, like maybe like that and actually with the guidelines I'm gonna add a couple more so whenever you're drawing guidelines or with the line tool if you hold shift it keeps it straight and if you do it sideways it keeps it straight that way so that you know it's straight so put one right there put one over here um, and we will need to select both of these guidelines select one then click shift to select both change this to black change this to black make the pointage a little bit bigger so you can see them alright and these guidelines will be the sideways part so let's, let's say we want to do it like maybe about that big let's start with that big let's see if we can fit all of them into here and you can always edit this later because YouTube actually cuts out like the middle rectangle um, so yeah, there's that, and you know we can always turn the guidelines off afterwards. So you know that's good. Um, so we have him in here. I'm gonna lock the guidelines. You know maybe you want him. I don't know. That's pretty good. You probably want him sitting on the bottom. Maybe like that. I don't know. Um, so then for the next one, you're gonna place. Let's place. <laughs> I don't know about placing Lee Sin. It might look like he's kicking him in the face. Uh, let's place this dude. So of course he's kind of big too. So shrink him and him down. Uh, get him in here. Be a little bit smaller. All right, so maybe like that. Go to the next layer. File place. And actually, let's do Lee Sin now. <coughs> Whoa, Lee Sin, you're really big. So let's shrink him down. It looks like I don't know. It looks like I didn't. And control Z is undo. That's how I'm undoing things. Instead of like going up here to edit, undo. You know, you just hit control Z. It's something you learned. So put him up. He's really big. <laughs> He's really like... Alright, so like that. Maybe move him a little bit. Um, then let's place our last guy. Our Japan guy from Civ 5. And he can be over here. Alright, so how we're going to arrange this is in diagonal boxes, or you can do normal boxes. And you're going to have the images like coming out of the boxes. So now, so these are all our image layers. I'll name this one image 1, image 2. Just really generic instead of like layer. Whoops. Image three. Image four. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to create like a house, a house, so to say, for these people. So create four new layers. Um, so this one is gonna go underneath him, and um, we're gonna get a. A flare tool, that's cool. No, not the flare tool, but you want the rectangle tool. Um, you don't want the rectangle tool. I want to do it with the line. 
Um, so let's divide this space into four equal spots. So let's turn all these people off so you can see the space. Um, zoom in a little bit. And get our line thing back. So this space right here, gonna make it, you wanna make it relatively equal. Um, and make it diagonal. Yeah, make it like, hmm, actually, what do I want to do? I think I want to put this on the guidelines section. Nah, no, nah, I'm good. I'll just do it like this. Okay, so there's, let's say one. Now the hard part, actually, instead of doing this, I'll go back to this line and, of course, make it black again so you can see it. And instead of trying to draw all of them the same, you can just select it, do Control C for copy, and then do Control V for paste. So paste it three times and then just drag it so that they're all the same uh, diagonal, you know, so that, so like not, one's not like more up and down than the other one, you know what I mean? Um, so we got one, two, three, four spaces. So scoot this one out some, maybe put it like right there. And hang on just a second. Let me turn these off. Okay. So have them separated kind of equally. You can get really particular about it. Um, if you want to, you can do view, show grid, and you can't see it because the thing's on, but you can arrange these things by a grid. So like that one looks like it's on this line, and so you got one, two, three, four, five. So we could arrange this one to like this line, move it over with the arrow key. And so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, move this one over. But like right here, and one, two, three, four, five. Move this one over a little bit. Whoops. Okay, so now it's more equal. One, two, three, and I'm gonna need one more line actually. So turn this back on and hang on. I'm about to zoom out a little bit. Okay, so I accidentally moved the background. So let me just move that back. Let me lock the background. Okay, so there's three spaces, but I need four. Um, let's turn the people back on and see how big they are. Alright, so if he's like that, have like one guy like right here. Okay, I think I'm going to make them four spaces apart so I can have room for everybody. So let me turn the background off again. Let me zoom back in. <coughs> <coughs> Grab my selector tool, scoot this over, scoot this over two, so we're going to scoot this over three. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that even though this is really hard to see, but um, I can actually change that real quick. Change this color to dark green so I can see it. but. Uh, you see, if you just grab it and drag it, you can go up and down. But if you hold shift while you drag it, it stays... Wait. Eh. If you hold, select it and hold and drag it, and then hold shift, it doesn't go up and down as much. So if you hold shift and drag it, it's a lot easier to keep on the same line. Okay, so we're going over four. So that looks like four right there. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Um, let me turn this... Whoops, wrong thing. Eh. Turns back on. My bad. I keep doing the wrong thing. Go away. I want to turn the background back on. Okay. So we have this now. So we need to create one more. So I'm just going to select it, Control C, copy it, then align it with that, and turn the background off again. Zoom back in. Scroll over. Do the select tool, do sh shift, and uh, 
hit it over a couple times, one, two, three, four. So there we go, we have our four panels like that. And actually, I want to make them a little bit taller, not so diagonal. So let's see if this works. Select all of them and tilt them up a little bit. Um, that's not really going to work. I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. It looks kind of cool. Okay, so let's zoom out. Okay, so that's, that looks pretty good. YouTube might drop the guideline right there and right there. Cut a little bit off, but that's okay. Um, where's the other guidelines? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Um, actually, I will move them all over. Shift click and select them all. Just nudge them over a little bit. Do it about like right there. All right. And actually, I changed my mind because I just realized that my spaces don't look equal anyway. So I'll just leave it like this. Okay. So let me turn these guidelines back off. So now I'm, I'm fitting my four people inside of that. Let me zoom back in. All right, so here we go. Okay, so you see my layer seven has all these lines on it. So I'll name this one Diag Diag Diagnals. I don't know how to. I don't know. Brain fart. The um, make a new layer. Okay, so now we want like a rectangle behind each person. I guess you can you can do this. You don't have to do this, but I want to. So I'm going to make a rectangle. Okay, it's black. I will change the color. Get the direct selection tool and drag this point there. And drag this point here. And actually, it's doing that. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Drag that point and then do Control C, Control V. No idea why it only selected a triangle. I'm going to delete that and select this whole thing. Control C, Control V. There we go. Okay, boom. Move it over. Control V. Control V. Okay, so it's something like this. And of course, it looks like there's space in between, which isn't bad. It's kind of weird. Something like this. Um, and I don't know which one's which. I guess we don't... I guess I don't need them on separate layers. But, you, you know, you can make the... Um, I'm going to make this to where you can't see it. And so now you see more space in between. So let me move these over. Let me give them like equal distance in, in between each one. And I guess it'll be like a white line because if you turn these off, it'll look like this. Okay, so here's that. Okay, so let's turn the people back on. See what they look like. All right, so... You got this guy, you got this guy, Lee Sin, he's really big. He's just really awkward because he's long. I might have to put him over here, put you right here, put Lee Sin this way. And this guy, of course, you probably want, looks like he's walking. Um, Alright, so what's going to happen is we're going to make these people look like they are maybe like encroaching on each other's space if you will make him a little bit bigger and make him a tad bit bigger and he make you a little bigger i think at least then you're just gonna have to be long ways you weirdo all right so actually i'm gonna drag i'm gonna select which one is this one doesn't tell you <coughs> but let's see how this goes okay so you got the rectangle and you got the person so let's say we want Lee Sin to be underneath this rectangle 
So you're going to have to put the rectangle, you're going to have to put this rectangle above the Lee Sin image. Uh, so this person is going to, so now we're just going to have to arrange the layers. So let's just take a guess and move that one there, move this one here, move this one here. Okay, so you see how some of them disappeared? That means that some of them are kind of weird. Um, so the one that's Oh, one of the ones that are over this guy does not need to be there, so let's move it. Okay, it's not that one. Move it back. It's this one. Okay, so that one fixed. Move this one under this guy. That one looks good. And so he's gone, so let me switch these two. Is he there now? No. Is he there now? Okay, so that's right because you see him on that side. Okay, so okay, so that's that layer. I guess I could have just done that. So I move that one below him, and then I need one up here. Okay, that deletes him. So we'll undo that. Okay, which layer is this? Command T. No, wrong thing. Control T. Okay, that's that layer. This is that layer, so this needs to go, that needs to stay under him. And this layer needs to go underneath this guy. And this layer needs to go underneath the least sin. This layer needs to go up here. Alright, so we got all the layers right. So this dude needs to go above that layer. And he needs to go below this layer. Okay, and Lee Sin needs to go below this layer, so I'm going to move him down here. No. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's Lee Sin's layer. I want him below this layer. Er, yeah, so that needs to be on top of him. Oh, this is confusing. <laughs> I just want him behind. You see here he's behind? So this layer right here needs to be below this guy. But uh, put it right there. I'll switch these two. Then put him above there. There we go. Okay, so it looks it looks better now. And actually your this layer needs to be he needs to be above this one. Okay. But now Lee Sin's messed up again. This needs to be on top of Lee Sin. I just keep moving him up. Alright, there we go. So it looks like Lee Sin is coming out of here. And actually, I need to move this dude up. There we go. And this guy... So it looks like they're like on top of the other layers. You know what I mean? Or just a little bit. So like if I make him bigger, you'd see it a little bit better. Make him bigger this way. Make him bigger... This way... Alright, so, move him, something like that, and actually, this layer needs to be on top of him, Let's see what this does, alright, that works, alright, so now we have this, um, and of course we can change the background of these things, so, let's say League of Legends, let's make it, uh, not pink. It's freaking ugly. Let's make it like a red. Um, well, we could go with all of the same color. Okay, so we're done with moving the people, so let's lock them so we don't mess them up. So now we can select these freely. You can make them all green. I don't really want to do that. Or, I mean, what you could do, which I'm not prepared for, so sorry about that, is you could have, like, the background, or a background from League of Legends or something behind here. Because um, then, you know, that might make that look better. And actually, I just noticed that this dude is, looks like he's floating, so you can't have that. This dude kind of looks like he's floating, too. Alright. Okay, so, there's that. Um, everything looks good besides the colors are kind of weird I think I want to change the background color 
um, to a bluish color. I'm, I don't know. I'm really into like blue right now. Not this blue. A darker blue, like this kind of blue, maybe something like that. Um, and have maybe these be. Let me lock the people again. Have these be white? Mm, could be. I don't really like white. Maybe like a gray. I don't know, but this is where you would want to get in with like different textures and like mess with that. I'm going to turn this layer off because I've already got the things. But so far we have this right here. I'm not really sure how long I've been recording, so I'm really sorry if this is taking forever. But I want to get something that you guys can work with. Um, so this is what we have so far. And of course, maybe you'd have his name like right here. Like, let me zoom in. Um, zoom, 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 zoom. Okay. So his name is Pontiac Boy. So let me create another layer. Name this one Text. And do the Text tool, obviously. And let me use... I've been using the American Captain, it's pretty cool, so it's Pontiac Boy DR, and it's really small now, but you can make it bigger, and you should hold shift with this too, so it's not all weird. Um, there's not two T's, and of course you want a font that's readable, that's not like ugly. I kind of want to move it on top. Whoops. Move it up here. Okay, so there's that. I kind of want to add a starburst behind here, but I'm not sure how to do that. Uh, I know you can do gradients. Like this one, you can select a gradient. That's pretty cool. Maybe I can just do a gradient. Um, Select all these again. I don't like these colors either. I'm going to make them more of like a white. Because then you can make this text black. Move it down a little bit. So zoom out. Okay, so what I just noticed is that this box looks like it's touching the other box. But I'm not really sure. Okay, okay, so the gradient is cool, but it's a little bit too bright. So let me go into gradient, and you can select colors and put them in here. So let's say we want the gradient to go, like, maybe from a darker blue to a lighter blue. So let's put, um, let's just put the darker blue on this side. You just drag the color down here, and I'm not sure why it's still white, but another thing you can do is go over here to gradient, and let me zoom out so you can see it. Go to gradient and then draw a gator gradient. So let's draw a gradient from here to here. Alright, so there's that. And let's fix up the gradient. Where there's some pre made ones too. Do white to black. It looks backwards to me. Okay, let's see what happens when we put this in there. Okay, yeah, it's changing now. Okay, so let's do it like this because it's changing now. Put a light blue in over here. He said his favorite color is orange, so maybe you want to do an orange. Except it's kind of harsh, so let's move this this way. And I'm not really liking this that much. Maybe you do a blue gradient, and like this. I want to make this color darker. Like that. Do a blue gradient and make these things. Whoops. Like an orangish color. Maybe not that bright though, so let me go in here and tone it down a little bit. Okay, so here's this. <coughs> um, I think I want to make this white now. That looks cool. I still am not liking the boxes. So, I mean, it's just problem solving. I'm not going to sit here and like, I mean, I've kind of already have. 
I'm not going to like sit here and try to get everything perfect the first try. You know, it's going to be, you're going to want to like mess with it for a while. You know, maybe you want to make the uh, transparency go down, you know, like maybe put it to uh, 60, except it's not changing. Um, I'm not really sure. Or you want to like change something right here. I don't know if it'll change though. It doesn't look like it wants to change, but so we can leave this like this. And of course, you know, um, it's just a cool idea. It definitely would need some refinement. Maybe I can do an episode two on making this look more professional than it already looks. But this is a good start. Um, the only other things that I would suggest is maybe a he uh, on top of these people, you would maybe put on your text layer. You'd put some text and uh, maybe you do FIFA 14, and that's really freaking small. And you'd put that like right here so that people know what that dude is from. So he's FIFA, you know, like that'd be Fliff. This would be Le uh, League of Legends and then Civ 5. So that's uh, cool like that. Um, I, don't want, I don't really want to do that though right now. But I feel like there needs to be like background imagery from the game inside these things. Um, but unfortunately, I did not think of that before making the video. So I might have to do like a part two on this video because this video is already freaking long. But yeah, that's basically how to set up a diagonal grid for a YouTube banner. Um, and if we wanted to like see what this looked like, we could do save for web do is a JPEG. It can't be bigger than two megabytes. And this is 541 kilobytes. So it's good. So save it. Save it to the desktop. Uh, minimize this and we can go into YouTube. And we can go to your page. Of course, this is my page. Do my channel and do edit channel art so hopefully this fits <laughs> the only problem maybe is the left to right Let's see what it looks like okay okay so boom it fits pretty good um, that actually fits really good uh, just the backgrounds kinda weird so yeah there it is on the computer I don't know maybe you just want to make it like a gray tone not sure. Eh, sorry, but I'm not gonna change mine. And um, but yeah, that's a good way to display like what games you play. You know, blah blah blah, whatever. See, mine's like League of Legends, Hearthstone. You want your banner to display what games you play, so that when somebody comes to your channel, channel, um, when somebody comes to your channel, they like look at your banner and they're like, this is completely relevant to what I'm about to see. You know, you don't want your channel to be some like mashup of all these odd pictures that don't have anything to do with your videos. Everything should be kind of linked together. So like, for example, my channel, I'm Lunar Man. So, you know, I have space, I have Lunar, um, I do League of Legends and Hearthstone. My type font is the same throughout most of my videos and it's kind of the same like arrangement and stuff. Um, so... Yeah, um, I guess I'm going to end this tutorial. Um, I feel like it was like freaking 40 minutes long or something. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. I can definitely do more. It was pretty fun. And yeah, so I will see you guys later. Peace.